So hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. So today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day video. I'm going to walk you through what I'm eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and if I'm having any snacks. I'm a volume eater, I eat a lot of food, so sometimes I don't even have snacks in between because I have those large, large meals. So you will see that I do the 50-50 plate Dr. McDougall talks about. So it's half veggies and half your starch of choice. So I eat a lot of brown rice. Um, sometimes basmati rice. I have, you know, a lot of leafy greens. I'm eating uh, bell peppers. I'm eating broccoli, cauliflower, carrots. Those are some of my typical things that I eat pretty much every day. Um, and then as far as starches go, you know, I'll have a sweet potato or I will have regular potatoes or I will have rice. So it's basically your starch of choice and then your veggies and you're going to do a 50-50 plate of that. So usually um, just because I like to separate them I'll have like one big plate of veggies and then my plate of starch. Um, if I can fit it on one plate then fine but otherwise it's just half and half. That's all you gotta mentally think about. Um, and it works amazing because you can eat so much food but because it's all lower calorie density you can eat a lot more food and feel really full for a lot longer. And again there's no animals, there's no dairy, there is no oil in this diet so it's a little strict with that but I mean it's all easy to do things that anybody can implement and you will literally see the weight just fall off of you and you don't even have to exercise I think you should stay active every day even if it's like a short walk even Dr. McDougall says, you know, do like a 30 minute walk at least. There are different plate methods that Dr. McDougall talks about in his book, The Starch Solution, that you might want to pick up if you're interested. But I happen to do the 50-50 plate. That's what works for me. It helps me get in a lot more veggies per day and I feel better when I'm doing the 50-50 plate. When I'm not, I immediately start feeling like I'm putting on a few pounds and I'm just not having the energy that I once had and when I do 12 hour shifts and so many in a row I need that extra energy so I need to get all those veggies in in order for me to be at my optimal. Basically, in a nutshell, this diet is high carb and low fat, and it's probably the best thing that I have ever come across in a very long time because it's honestly the easiest way and lifestyle to either maintain your weight or actually shed quite a few pounds. So one of my most common breakfasts that I have is oatmeal, just plain oatmeal. I do have steel cut oats most of the time, but I do have the regular oats as well. And then I just have berries that were frozen that I defrosted. I put a little bit of maple syrup and then I top it with cinnamon. And lately I've been doing pumpkin spice on top just because it is getting a little bit chilly now. And this is a fall edition of what I eat in a day because I'm gravitating towards cozy meals, warmer meals, and the summertime stuff is not appealing to me as much as it was before. So alongside this oatmeal, I'm also going to have a bowl of mixed veggies, and I just sauteed that in water, and I added a little bit of salt-free seasoning on it, and that's it. Very simple, and this is a starch solution style of breakfast where I have half veggies, and I've got my... Uh, starch of choice which is oatmeal for breakfast. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and that way you don't miss any upcoming videos and hit that notification bell because that is what's going to tell you every time I put up a new video and that way you don't miss out on any new content. So I had leftover sweet potatoes so I decided that I was going to make a sauce that I can use for a pasta dish. So I always use brown rice pasta, that's my favorite and the kids like brown rice pasta the best although I do buy different ones from time to time. That is just a staple one in our house. So I decided to create this sauce so that I could put on my pasta and yes pasta 
depending on which type of pasta, like brown rice pasta would be okay on the starch solution. Um, you just want to stay away from, you know, the white refined um, products. So you want to stay with like a corn pasta or a whole wheat pasta or a rice pasta, a brown rice pasta. So yeah, that's, you know, all I'm having. Um, I do eat quinoa pasta a lot as well. So when you're on the starch solution, you can eat pasta still. It's just uh, when you're on his maximum weight loss, and when I say him, I'm referring to Dr. McDougall. He does have a different diet and kind of lifestyle as well um, option for people that want to lose a significant amount of weight or just they haven't lost the weight that they want to yet. So they're not in the maintenance zone yet. So it's the maximum weight loss um, program and in that program no you can't have pasta you just have to stick with the whole foods but if you are just doing Dr. McDougall's regular diet starch solution then you are definitely allowed to have pasta on that plan so for dinner I'm just having a veggie stew this is pretty much made very very often in my house um, I made it once because I had to use up the zucchini and then it just became a favorite so I make it often so I'm just using carrots, zucchini, and potatoes for this recipe. Very simple ingredients and pretty much anybody can find them. I will add my simple recipe below in the description box if you guys want to try out this super easy recipe. And if you don't have a pressure cooker, don't stress. You can do it in a normal pot. It's just it will take you a little bit longer. I can cook up the stew really quickly using the Instapot. So that's what I prefer because I usually just do it last minute. But you can definitely do it in a regular pot and it will still taste amazing. So you can add coconut milk or oat milk to make it extra creamy or you can just leave it with the broth and water. It's up to you on how creamy you want it. Um, I do like to add a little bit of the oat milk because I just love that consistency that it gives. And if you can have coconut milk, if you're not concerned with the extra calories or you don't have it very often, um, then yeah, add that and it will be even better. So the way I like to serve it is by placing brown rice in a bowl and then I top it with the stew and it is like one of my favorite, favorite dinners. It is so good and so healthy and it will keep you full for so long. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell because that way you will get notified each time I upload a video. So be sure to do that and please like the videos because it does help me a lot um, on my channel. Thanks again to all the new subscribers and all my oldies because you guys have been so amazing and I can't believe some of the nicest comments I've ever gotten. Um, you guys are just so supportive and I really, really appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching guys.